Hello, today I wanted to make a really quick React tutorial showing you how to store JWT tokens in cookies and how to use their values throughout the application. So the application I've built here to demonstrate this is super simple. What I have here is a login button and a title that either shows welcome guest or welcome, in this case, John is the name that I've used in the JWT token for the user. So when I press login, it go, when, goes ahead and logs in and says welcome John. And then when I refresh, you'll see the JWT authorization cookie is here and it's logged me out again since it's restarting the app. But when I press log in and then log out again, you're going to see that the JWT authorization token is gone. So let me show you what's going on behind the hood here. So a couple things to note with this program, I have no backend sending a JWT authorization token. So what I've done is I've hard coded one with the information of first name, last name, and email right here. So when I click when I click the login button, it sends this pre-coded uh, JWT authorization token to the login function. I'm doing this since creating a backend that sends through the JWT tokens and does authorization is beyond the scope of this video. The first thing you need to do is to install and import two different packages. The first one is a cookie manager in React. Now, there's many different cookie managers that you can use. The package I'm using, however, is called universal-cookie. The second package you need to import is jwt-decode. Now I suspect there are more decoding, uh, JWT decoding packages, however this is the one that I've chosen for the video and the only one that I know of. If you're using the cookie package I am, the first thing that you need to do is you need to initialize that package. So what you do is you set a variable const cookies equals new cookies. In this application I'm storing the user in a state. So I've gone ahead and initialized the user state here. Now I've created two functions here. One is called logout and one is called login. So the logout function will set the user to null and will remove the JWT authorization cookie from the cookies. The login function will take in one parameter, JWT token, which will obviously be this JWT token that we're passing down here or whichever one you receive back from your backend. The first thing you're going to do with that JWT token is decode it using the JWT decode package. So in my case, I've imported JWT from JWT-decode. Now this variable here, decoded, const decoded equals JWT, and then I pass in the parameter JWT token that we've received in the login function. That provides us with a decoded version of the encoded information in the JWT token. In this case, that decoded data is the user object. Once I've received the decoded object, I set the user state to that decoded user object. I then set the JWT authorization cookie to the JWT token, not the decoded token. The reason I do this is to have persistent logins using JW JWT tokens, the backend often needs to receive the JWT token to verify the session. I've set one option on this cookie, which is an expired date, which I've set to the decoded expiry date times 1000. And the reason I've done this is because this expiry time is actually in seconds and this and the cookie expiry time is in milliseconds. So by multiplying the seconds by millis or by 1000, I get the proper milliseconds for this expiry time for the cookie. That pretty much fully encompasses the method of storing JWT tokens and cookies in a React app. What I've done down here in the return statement is created one if that returns either the user's first name and the title and a logout button or welcome guest and a login button passing through this hard-coded JWT token. Let me show you the application in action one last time. So when I go to this initial screen, you can see there's no JWT token here. When I press login, it still does not show here because the cookies have not refreshed. Now I'm going to have to refresh the page to show the JWT token in the cookies again, which will not be deleted. However, since the state is reset on a refresh, it will show that I'm logged out. Now you see the JWT token here, and if you were in a real React application, I would always check to see if there's the JWT authorization token, and if there is, check to see if I can log the user in based on that. Therefore, you can skip this whole screen and it would automatically log you in. However, in this case, I haven't built that out. So if I press log in, it again sets the, to the cookie to the same token. However, it's already set, so it just overrides it.
Now if I press log out, again, you can see it's still here, but that's only because I have not refreshed the page. Now if I refresh the page again here, you can see the JWT authorization token has been deleted. It had been deleted before I refreshed the page. It just still showed down here in the application tab. I hope this video helped. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe.